next, the Celtics take it on the Grizzlies. For Boston, it's a battle between teams with championship DNA. They'll have the home crowd behind them in what is sure to be a clash of the titans. Grizzlies, Celtics, up next. Hello and welcome to Saturday Night. And now that we're into December, let's check in on the Rookie of the Year race. And this year's rookie class has been an exceptionally fun one to watch. So I'm sure fans want to know who's out in front. You take a look at Fox. What an incredible start to his rookie season. Sitting in the number one spot right now. But I'm sure this will be an exciting rookie race. And you know his confidence must be soaring, sitting at the top of this impressive list of young talent. Yeah, nobody has made a bigger splash than he has in this early part of the season. He's already living up to his potential. The starters for the Memphis Grizzlies. Manning the backcourt, we'll see Moran and Bain. Jackson out there with Gigi Jackson. And it's Fox in at the five, roaming the paint. And the basket by Bain. If you like slow-paced basketball, you've come to the wrong place. These teams love to run. Oh, they love to run. I mean, these teams score a great deal of transition baskets. They want to use their speed, their quickness, and attack the defense before it gets set. Here's Tatum after the basket by Memphis on the other end. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. <laughs> okay, just some big boy strength there from Tatum. Just put himself in the line. Boston shooting their first free throw of the night. Neil Grant, in interviews, Jason Tatum often seems understated and soft-spoken. But that's just him, isn't it? That's true, B.A. Tatum has a quiet confidence about him. He doesn't feel the need to be loud or act out. He lets his work on the court do all the talking for him. Sometimes Morant just makes this look effortless. He's such a gifted passer. Outside Walker. Holiday a screen on Bain. Back to Holiday. Yes! Great play by Walker to set it up. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. That's good. Oh, one thing about Jao? Oh, he's determined. The Celtics have gone two of three from the floor. Pass to Tatum. Three-pointer. Nails it from beyond the arc. Tatum's got six. And the lead just keeps changing hands. Five times already. And we still haven't gotten out of the first half. Bain, the pass to Jackson. And out of bounds. Austin will have it. And let's honor a terrific player who has worked hard to earn this award. The Western Conference Player of the Month. He's a great example of what a modern big looks like. He's so much more than just a big in the paint. And that versatility is a big part of what makes him such an outstanding player. Jackson against Tatum. Outside Walker. Six on the shot clock. From the elbow. Memphis with a rebound. This team doesn't just win, they win big. Now with a double-digit win differential for the season. Wow. That means they've given full effort for all their games. No garbage time, no lax efforts, full throttle basketball playing. They've spent a lot of time dominating on the floor. Now here's Fox. And Fox powers it home. And their offensive rebounding is such a strength for them when he's on the floor. Yeah, he really helps them extend possessions, doesn't he? Yeah, you can feel Coach smiling on the sidelines with every offensive board. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Well, I had a chance to talk with head coach Joe Mazzula. They were concerned with Darren Jackson Jr. on both ends of the floor. Coach saying defensively, Triple J covers so much space. A blocking machine. And on the other side of the ball, Jaron has serious skill for a man of his size. He's a tough game plan for us. Darren Jackson Jr., a two-way menace. Brian? All right, Allie, thanks once again. Now here's Moran. The second effort. Kicks it out to Bain. Jackson with a screen on Walker. Bain. Ooh, a little luck that time as it drops. Bain's got his second basket on the night. A high percentage look for Bain. He gets to his spot and just nails it. Holiday passes to Porzingis. The 
kick out to Walker. Porzingis with a screen on Bain. Nice shot by Walker. Moran with it. Fox outside. Pass to Jackson. And Jalen Brown gets a whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. Payne against Walker. Payne, the pass to Moran. Four on the clock. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. With a brief pause, here are the most difficult teams to score against over the last 10 games. Number one, the Grizzlies. Over this last stretch, their defense has been airtight. The opponents have had a tough time executing at the offensive end. Holiday against Moran. Holiday taking his time here. Porzingis with a screen on Moran. Holiday with the ball. Jackson in his pocket. Now here's Holiday. And unable to get the go ahead bucket there. Jackson, pass to Fox. And there's the drive. And it's Fox with the jam. With the explosive leaping ability, he's able to play center despite being undersized. All right, guys, we're lucky to have Shams Sharania joining us now. Our 2K insider calling in with a story. What do you got, Shams? Thanks. Well, the Celtics won their 18th championship in 2024, the most of any franchise in the NBA, and with multiple extensions this summer, securing their core moving forward, Boston has made huge financial commitments to compete for championships every single year. Not a team to be taken lightly. All right, Shams, thank you for the report. Now here's Moran. 33 points last game. To the middle. And he's going for the lob! And it's Fox with the jam. And put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Yeah, when the game is up for grabs like this one has been, it's all about the attention to detail. The Celtics have gotten 50% of their shots to fall so far. They're 5 of 10. Tatum from long range. Memphis with a rebound. Fox has got six rebounds now in the game. Morant, the pass to Jackson. And it's Fox with the jam. And in traffic, he uses the reverse to keep the shot blocker at bay. Man, what an incredible move. Not everyone has that kind of skill. Celtics trail by three. Here's Holiday, taking a look at his numbers, averaging about 11 a game. Tatum, shot is good. Every time Tatum finds his shot, he'll take it. He loves to fill it up from range. Moran against Holiday. Now here's Moran, guarded closely. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Kristaps Porzingis picks one up. Memphis shooting their first free throws here tonight. And you think about the fearlessness of Ja Morant and how he attacks, even as a smaller player. RJ, you got any comparisons? I would say AI, but AI was more of a two-guard, even though he was a couple inches shorter. But definitely similarities of how they attack the paint with fearlessness. Tatum can't hit. You got to move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. Yeah, it's a great look for him. One, they'll try and manufacture again. Those are the shots you want him to take. Oh, just an artful little reverse slam. Mm, power and style. That was sweet. So it's Boston now. Four-point game. It's Brown on the wing. with the block. Bain with it. Guarded now by Holiday. Bain, the pass to Jackson. Now Fox. Jackson surveying the D. Called in by Brown. Looked like he just rushed it there. Just maybe take a little bit more time in the future. Chalk up two there. Brown showing the quick release with the pull up there. Now Morant. 
Jackson outside. On the wing, Bain. Walker covering. Fires it. And the sweet roll that time on the rim. That one falls. Bain's got six. He just makes it look so easy on offense. Like, who takes pleasure in torturing defenses? He does. Now here's Tatum. He's got nine. Just five to shoot. Again, the Celtics good for two more. And even though they're down, it's not on him. He's been lights out on offense for them this quarter especially. Fox finds Bain. There's the three. Yes! And a nice assist from Fox. Nine points in the game. Just another day in the office for Mr. Bain. Tatum against Jackson. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. If you look at his college days and his rookie year, Tatum has always been on a winning team, Richard. B.A., I think it starts with his approach. There's always been an air of professionalism when it comes to Tatum. He's just a young player that is focused only on winning. Cornette's checked in for Chris Stops Porzingis. Williams has checked in for Memphis. Now here's Moran. Down low. Here's Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. Morant's got great understanding of the game. He can move like very few can in that pick and roll set. Celtics trail by five. Outside Tatum. Back to Holiday. And Holiday powers it home. What a finish. I mean, he just took over himself. What a show of power right there from the point guard. Man, sweet. A point guard getting up like that? Boy, that is special. Now here's Moran. Here's Fox. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. Now let's check out the Western Conference standings and see how they look here in December. You look at the Grizzlies, sitting fourth in the conference early on and looking to move into that top tier. You know, for Memphis, it really hasn't been the dominant season they were hoping for, but they're still in the hunt for a high postseason seed. From here on out, it's just about putting in the work, coming to every game ready to compete and never giving less than your best. Goes back up. Cornette with the bucket. And it's now just a one-point Memphis lead. Good things come to those who hustle. He creates the second chance opportunity. And Fox powers it home. And <laughs> they keep trading punches. Both teams in a groove early. You have to think at this point the winner will be the one to settle in on defense. There's a minute 47 left to play in the first. Outside Walker. Holiday is screen on Payne. Pass to Tatum. Shoots from 12. Memphis with a rebound. Fox has got his eighth rebound here tonight. Williams passes to Moran. Out to Fox. Holiday against Moran. And it's Fox with the jam. Sharing the rock. Part of what makes John Moran such a fantastic player is his ability to pass. And so Holiday will bring it up for Boston. Trailing by five. Pass to Cornett. Back to Holiday. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Well, Richard, with the career he's had, it's hard to believe Drew Holiday has only made two All-Star teams. Well, that speaks to how much talent is at the guard position in this league. But it also shows how we tend to award offense over defense because Drew, his impact is truly felt on the defensive end. Pritchard's checked in for Boston. And this is part of Morant's role. As a guard, he's responsible for finding the open man. 55 seconds left in the first. 
Here's Pritchard, pounded by Moran. They set the screen. Here's Tatum. Tatum draws the double. Cornett passes to Pritchard. Four on the clock. Cornett sets the screen. Pritchard gets it to go. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show some fire and keep defending. Get him the ball anywhere close to the hoop, that thing is over. Celtics trail by five. And here's Tatum. He's got 13. Outside Walker. Inside. Here's Cornette. Good setup. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. And stolen by Holiday. The first quarter all wrapped up. And it's been an exciting game so far. Grizzlies out in front, leading by three. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even on the scoreboard so far. And looking at what we've seen from the Grizzlies, what do you think, guys? You can really see the strategy coming in. Get the ball into the painted area. And let me tell you, when you establish a physical edge, it gives you a mental edge, too. So on the floor for Memphis to kick off the second quarter. Manning the backcourt, we'll see Moran and Bain. Williams is out there with Jackson. And it's Fox in at the center position. We see this from Tatum often, and it never gets old. Just scoring at will. Moran with it. Fox feeling it out a bit. Pass to Moran. The three is up. Yes! A Moran three! Look, when you're as explosive as Ja, then opponents are going to let you take shots from deep. Here's Pritchard, hounded by Moran. Pritchard, the pass to Cornett. Not going to go that time. Grizzlies lead by four. Over to the left wing. Pass to Fox. It's stolen by Holiday. Off they go. It's a three-on-one break. Pritchard gets it to go. One of the most unselfish players in this league. It's a nice pass from Drew. And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter. Outside Moran. Oh, Morant gets it done inside. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. For Boston, they've got two of three shots to go in the second. Tatum from long range. He buries it from three. Tatum's got 18. Nice start for him beyond the arc. He's already hit three triples, and I'm pretty sure there's more to come. Outside Morant. Offensive board. Fox. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. That'll drive your coach crazy, failing to box out. Ugh. Oh, yeah, you think you got to stop, and it's wasted because of sloppy work on the glass. You literally practice that every day. Kennard, he's checked in for Memphis. Richard, for years, the Grizzlies' team motto was grit and grind. You think that shifted? Uh, they're a little bit flashier now, but they still have that underdog spirit. That's what grit and grind is about. They are always out to prove themselves. Now here's Moran. He's got nine. Here's Fox. And stolen by Holiday. Here's Pritchard, defended by Kennard. Now here's Moran. Kennard outside. Pass to Fox. Outside Moran. Tries again. Fox the pass to Moran. Shot blocked. And to put things simply, this has not been his fault. Now Tatum. Oh, 
Over Jackson. Hey, Tatum getting it done inside. I love seeing Tatum exhibit the passion that he has shown us tonight. Such a motivated performance by him. Now here's Moran. Tightly guarded. To the paint. Here's Fox. And it's Fox with the jam. He's been playing great unselfish basketball. Really putting the rock in the hands of the right shooters. His court vision has been on display in this one. He's doing a tremendous job just orchestrating the offense beautifully. So it's Boston now. Following the bucket by the Grizzlies. Outside Holiday. Launches it. Memphis with a rebound. Fox is... And Fox has got the ball here for the Grizzlies. Three-point lead. After this game, they can look forward to Washington, where they'll match up against the Wizards. That'll be the second of two games on the road. Time now to hear from our reporter, Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian, a key concept preached by Celtics head coach Joe Mazzula and reiterated by Jalen Brown, who says it's reading the game, realizing fast, but playing slow. We're the more talented team, he said. We have to be the smarter team as well. And when we do that, we're going to be tough to beat. Brian? Well, they certainly have been, Allie. Thanks for that. Boston making a switch here. Porzingis has checked in. Porzingis sets a screen. Walker for three. Rebounded by Fox. Fox has got rebound number 15 here tonight. Morant, the pass to Bain. Back to Morant. Fox up top. Kennard on the wing. It's stolen by Tatum. Stolen by Kennard. Pass to Moran. It's blocked. Tatum against Moran. Here's Pritchard. Five points in the game. Tatum inside, pounded by Moran. Porzingis for three. Again, the miss by Boston. The defense just giving him the easy look there. He's not going to miss that. Fox, the pass to Moran. And here's Bain. Moran with a screen on Tatum. From deep, Bain. Good. And the setup by Moran. Moran's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. Celtics trail by six. Outside Walker. Back to Pritchard. On the wing, Tatum. Defended by Jackson to snap the cold streak. Oh, and Fox with the block. And that's out of bounds. It was last touched by Fox. Jaron Jackson, he's checked in for Memphis. Here's Tatum. Give him 20. Tatum drills the three. They're going to have to pay more attention to him on the perimeter. He's hit four three-pointers already today. Grizzlies lead by three. Now Morant. Jackson outside. Jackson the screen. And here's Morant outside. Offensive rebound. Another shot. Kicks it out to Jackson. The three ball. He drops it from range. Jackson's got his second bucket on the night. Now shooting the three ball at almost 60%. They've been blazing this second quarter. Well, when you look at the forwards in this league, there are a lot more Grand Hill types out there these days, partner. Well, thank you for the nice words, B.A. Uh, of course, I took pride in my overall game. And over the last few decades or so, we've seen a bunch of guys playing the three, four, and five who can pass, dribble, and shoot. So it's fun to watch the game evolve. A multi-talented swingman. Tatum just continues to get better and better each year. Morant with a screen on Holiday. Fox outside. Outside Morant. Shot clock at five. Fox the pass to Bain. To the middle. And it's Fox with the jam. And I just love how he's making the effort plays that everyone around him appreciates. It is certainly making an impact tonight. Offensive rebounding is about hustle and determination. Huge putback, making a statement there. 
Celtics trail by seven. Pass to Pritchard. Jackson against Tatum. Tatum like a freight train coming. Up and in on the layup. Tatum's got 13 points now in the quarter. He's doing everything he can. If they want to win, others have to step up and provide some scoring. Here's the pick. To the inside. And stolen by Porzingis. Tatum with it. He's picked up by Bain. To the paint. Here's Porzingis. Rebounded by Fox. And you don't see that every day. Usually he'll convert when he gets that close to the rim. And it's Fox with the jam. And I'll be honest, he's having a better quarter than a lot of my nights back when I played. The Celtics have gotten six shots to fall out of 13 attempts here in the second. It's Walker on the wing. And the foul on Jaron Jackson. That's his third foul of the game. And that's the risk you run when you leave him in with two fouls. Memphis making a switch here. Kennard's checked in. So it's Boston now. Seven-point differential. Porzingis with a screen on Bain. Here's Walker. Shot clock at six. Here's Pritchard, pounded by Moran. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. All right, here's a look at the schedule for the Memphis Grizzlies. On Sunday, they're off to Washington to face off with the Wizards. Then on Wednesday, they'll go up against Chris Paul and the San Antonio Spurs. And you know for that matchup with the Warriors, on paper, they should be expected to come away with a win. However, this might be one of those trap games if they aren't fully engaged. Now here's Fox. We saw him go on a scoring rampage last game. He was unstoppable. Let's it go from the wing. And another basket for Memphis. This is the productive play Morant delivers. And the team works hard to facilitate them for him. RJ, when Ja Morant's at his best, you won't find a more entertaining player in the league. Oh, B.A., he is a generational talent. There is no easy way to defend him. That blend of skill, athleticism, quickness, it is so impressive and hard to guard. Morant surveying the floor. Pass to Jackson. Inside. Oh, he powers right through the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul, too. And he'll go to the line. Kristaps Porzingis picks one up. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Memphis? So far, they haven't had to force anything. They're swinging the ball around and turning good passing into points. And what's more, they're getting their feet wet down there in the paint early on. Not shying away at all, taking it inside. What a great way to start. Jackson for three. Offensive rebound with the second effort. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Heady play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. And the Celtics far and away the best record in the NBA last season, Grant. Well, they rode that momentum into the playoffs, capturing the franchise's 18th championship, passing the Lakers for the most of any team in the association. Clark has checked in for Kennard. Now here's Tatum. 26 points for him. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. This will make four trips to the line so far in this game. Their last game was a close one. His success from the line really helped them secure the dub. Here's Morant. 11 points in the game. Jackson left side. Shoots over Walker. Jackson can't get it to go. Well, despite some uneven shooting for him, they're still out in front. Here's Pritchard, hounded by Moran. Outside Porzingis. Pass to Tatum. I got the help, outside. Play clock. The Celtics got to hurry here. Porzingis misses. Memphis leading by three. Right side, Moran. What? And gets hacked by the D. He'll go to the line. In an era where 
there's so many point guards or three-point shooters. John Morant, you know what? This man is built different. He's more of a throwback. John wants to apply pressure by driving, not shooting threes. Brown, he's checked in for Porzingis. And so it's Tatum who brings up the ball for the Boston Celtics. They defeated Milwaukee in their last game. And what a great feeling, ending it the way they did. Just a clutch effort they can build on. Memphis with a rebound. They put up a nice win against Sacramento last time out. Talk about strong offensive production. They went out, played to their strengths, and were successful as a result. And no team is going to shoot 50% every night, but this team has the right approach. When the shots are falling, they can light it up. From deep, pain. Walker pulls down the board. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that opening. Tatum passes to Pritchard. There's the screen. On the wing, Holiday. Back to Walker. Out left to the wing. Here's Brown. And it's blocked by Clark. They retain possession. Jackson against Walker. Here's Fox. And Fox powers it home. He knew exactly where his man was going to be. Outstanding lead pass. called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Oh, guarding Tatum is just a major problem. He shot five of six at the foul line. And so Tatum nails both of them. And here's Morant. Fox with the ball. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. It's the Grizzlies up by five. And we'll see you back here after the break. Third quarter action in just a bit. Howdy, folks. Taking a look here now at Boston. I had them as a top team before the season, and now I'm picking them to make the finals. Tell me I'm wrong, Kenny. You can't, because I'm right. Two plus two is five. Mm, and as much as it pains me. And returning our attention to this game, an impressive first half for the Grizzlies. Watching them on the offensive end, they did a great job moving that basketball. There is no surprise in those assist totals how they reflect that. Keeping everyone involved, keeping everyone engaged. Thanks, as always, for watching. Let's head back to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the second half. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Tatum is the four with Porzingis at center. Drew Holiday out there with Lonnie Walker. And it's Brown in at the small forward position. That's the Boston five. It's good on the putback. And they've committed to controlling the boards and it's paying dividends. Celtics trail by seven. Now here's Holiday. Outside, Brown. Porzing is high post. Pass to Walker. Three pointer. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. Outside Morant. Now here's Fox. Payne surveying the D. Fox finds Morant. Fox with a screen on Holiday. Back to Fox. Good D by Porzingis. Boston has got seven of their 16 three-point attempts to go in. Oh, the block! Just stops it cold and takes possession. It's Jackson, high post, working on Porzingis. Fox with a screen on Holiday. Morant, the pass to Bain. From downtown, kept alive. Fox, and it's Fox with the strong finish. Wow, that type of finish is just deflating right now for a team that's trying to make a comeback. Ouch. That's certainly a big-time finish right there. It was one big exclamation point, or maybe even a question mark. Outside Walker. 
Back to Holiday. The three. Rebounded by Fox. Coming out stone cold here. Sometimes the break will do that to you. And it's Fox with the jam. And the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a pinpoint pass. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Jackson against Tatum. Brown, a screen on Jackson. Brown passes to Porzingis. Good. And Brown gets the assist. Porzingis has got six. Got that one to go. Okay, now one for four to start the second half. Memphis leading by eight. And out of bounds. Boston will have it. Looking at our 2K leaderboard, these teams have been absolutely fantastic hitting the offensive boards. Number one, the Grizzlies. Their physicality underneath has been generating a lot of second chance opportunities. We'll see if they can maintain that level of intensity. Tatum can't hit. Out of halftime, not the way you want to execute. Just one of five from the field. Holiday against Moran. Pass to Bain. Jackson the screen. From the arc. Tries again. Fox, that's good. Fox has got eight here in this quarter. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Celtics trail by ten. Outside Tatum. 4-3. Gets the three to fall. For his sake, I hope they can come back. You hate to see the performance he's having be wasted in a loss. Here's Fox. He's got 40 now. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Bay. And now in December, here's what the Eastern Conference standings look like. Taking a look at Boston. Still early, but they have the third best record in the conference. You know for the Celtics, you have to really give it to them. I mean, they are backing up all the preseason hype. They've been outstanding early. And you want to talk about hitting the ground running? They've done exactly this. And you've got to give a lot of credit to their coaching staff for getting this team locked in early. To the middle. And stolen by Brown. And here we go. The Celtics on the run. And Walker gets it to go on the assist by Brown. Brown's got his third assist of the night. Holiday against Moran. Pass to Bain. Fox with a screen on Walker. From deep, Bain. And that bucket makes him six for ten in the contest. Defensively, got to close out a little faster. That's a look he'll make with regularity. Porzingis with a screen on Jackson. Porzingis, big strides. Oh, it's blocked by Fox. If they want to come back, he needs to be better. Morant, the pass to Fox. Back to Morant. Some solid defense from Holiday. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Oh, the deep ball from Porzingis. As the deep shots continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. And when Porzingis can be a third option on a team, he is deadly and efficient, RJ. We've always seen Porzingis as the guy or as a second option. But when he has elite teammates around him, he really flourishes. Sinks it from distance. Bain's got six here in the quarter. When you're as accurate as Bain, you love doing this, giving them a little taste of their own medicine. Outside Porzingis. Pass to Brown. Takes the three. It's rebounded by Memphis. They've led by as many as 11. They're losing because he is struggling so bad, and he has not looked comfortable all game. Fox finds Morant for three. Called in by Brown. And Brown has got the ball here for Boston. Trailing by eight. Following this one, they host the Trailblazers. There's Tatum with the three. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Tatum's got 37. He's just lighting them up in this game. The D's going to have to extend a little bit more. Or he's going to keep knocking them down from deep. Now here's Bain. 18 points for him. Drops in the three. 
Morant's got 16 points now. His first triple of the second half. Can he get it going? All right, let's get a report from Ali. Well, after some down years in Dallas, Chris Depp's Porzingis said, I really checked myself. From that point on, I started building my game back up. Sometimes when you're younger, your physical abilities might already be there, but your mental is not. Once that all clicks, that's when you've got something. Well, that's a good way to think of it. Thanks, Ali. Now here's Tatum. 37 points for him. Outside Porzingis. Off target from three-point range. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is, too. Fox, the pass to Moran. Here's Jackson. Pass to Jackson. Kicks it out to Bain. Fires from the wing. They get it back. Fox, the pass to Bain. Jackson, the screen. And it's going to be a three-second call. Let's see some of the numbers here for him. And over the last ten games, he's been hitting the boards hard. He's been a different guy when it comes to rebounding. Out there battling and fighting, it's great to see that kind of hustle. Celtics trail by eight. Outside Holiday. Pass to Tatum. from Tatum so crafty with the rock now Morant 16 points for him outside Bain Fox with a screen on Walker from deep Bain and another three for Memphis you want to know why they're winning it's because of his play offensively the Celtics have gotten six of 14 shots to drop in this third quarter Holiday a screen on Jackson. Tatum from long range. Tatum with the three-point answer. Goodness, this man is ripping three after three. An incredible display of shooting. Holiday against Moran. Jackson outside. Back to Moran. Kicks it out to Bain. From behind the arc. Goes back up. Box the pass to Moran. And here's Bain. Fires from deep. Bain with another miss. On the wing, Tatum. He's got 42. Down low. Porzingis passes to Tatum. Porzingis against Fox. KP! Forget those long jumpers, Kristaps. Use that size. Rock the rim. Holiday against Moran. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. Big time rejection from Porzingis. You must be careful trying to shoot when he's lurking nearby. And he has flat out taken over this quarter. Keep feeding the beast. Now here's Holiday. He's got five. Pass to Tatum. Porzingis with a screen on Jackson. Tatum inside. Jackson on him. Oh, and Fox with the block. And they recover it. Walker's shot is off. Normally he drains that. Memphis leading by six. Now Morant, he's covered by Holiday. Morant against Holiday. Back to Payne. Here's the three. Knocks it down from distance. Payne's got 12 points in just the second half. He hit a couple from range in the first half, but now his confidence is through the roof. Tatum inside, defended by Jackson. A nice shot by Tatum. Hey, he's doing everything he can to keep them afloat. Holiday against Moran. Over Holiday. 
And it's Morant missing. Credit the defensive effort there, not giving him room to operate. Outside, Brown. Porzingis with a screen on Jackson. Oh, Tatum, good. Memphis leading. A minute nine left to play in the third quarter. Outside Bain. Fires for three. Fox. Boston with a rebound. Brown's got a rebound number five here tonight. Over Jackson. Brown, no good. The defense kind of rolled the dice there, and I'm a little surprised that it ended up going their way with the miss. Here's Moran. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Jalen Brown picks one up. Defenses have tried to figure out a way to stop Moran's drive, but his agility and strength ensures that he's always going to get a shot. And you'd like to go two for one here, Grant. And at the same time, you want to get a good shot here, B.A. Holiday passes to Walker. Here's Tatum. Memphis with a rebound. They've led by as many as 11. Here's Moran. Puts the move on. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's on Drew Holiday. Morant doing a good job using the pump fake to his advantage. And the second free throw is good. 24 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Tatum against Jackson. Brown, the screen on Jackson. And Tatum, here we go. He blocks it again. A defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Protecting the rim well. Love the hustle. There's 10 seconds left in the third quarter. Austin, no good that time either. Here's Jackson. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. First free throw is good. He does not get the second one. And so it's Memphis with a nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. More 2K action in just a moment. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. We talk about painting a magnificent picture with that die. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. A lot of times a spectacular pass is more impressive than a spectacular shot. This is one of those times. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. On the court for Memphis to start the fourth. Manning the backcourt, we'll see Moran and Payne. Jaron Jackson out there with Jackson. And it's Fox in at the five spot. That's how you do it. Nice catch and shoot from Drew. And it's Moran with the ball for Memphis. Six-point lead. Pass to Bain. Takes the three. That one doesn't drop. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Here's Walker. The rebound by Jackson. Grizzlies lead by six. Here's Bain. Jackson on the wing. Fox up top. Pass to Bain. Five on the clock. Jackson with a screen on Holiday. The three from Bain. Boston pulls it in. Outside Walker. Right side Holiday. Tries to spin move. And they pick up two. Holiday's got five points now this quarter. You can see the toughness that Holiday plays with. Contact doesn't face him. And again, another assist. 
that makes 15 assists. He has been one step ahead of the defense all game long. And a little over a minute and a half gone by in the fourth. Walker against Bain. Walker passes to Tatum. That shot, no good. Grizzlies lead by six. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to be on Lonnie Walker. At the offensive end, Bain has put in the work, and he's a true force. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stats for Memphis? These guys have been hitting the offensive boards hard throughout this whole game. Great job converting the extra opportunities. And also, attacking in transition has been working for them. I mean, we credit them for running the break well and being opportunistic. On the wing, Holiday, pounded by Moran. Here's Cornett. Boston, no good that time either. That was a good possession. They got a clean look. The shot just didn't fall. Pass to Bain. To the middle. Fox against Brown. He shoots. Fox, that's good. Fox has got 46. Getting buckets at a critical time. Just give him the ball and let him go to work. Holiday passes to Brown. Back to Holiday. Tatum with it. Defended by Jackson. Tatum against Jackson. Tatum inside. Grizzlies with the rebound. Jackson's got four rebounds in the game. Morant, the pass to Jackson. Tatum against Fox. Uses the glass on the layup. Fox has got six points in the quarter. He's been dominant all game long. Nobody on the floor can stop him. And look, let's just say he knows it. Outside Tatum. And here's Brown for three. Yes! Great play by Walker to set it up. Walker's got his sixth assist of the night. Grizzlies lead by eight. And here's Moran. Pass to Bain. Fires the three. The offensive rebound from deep. Here's Fox. Oh, sweet move. And Fox powers it home. Making the most of the second chance opportunity. Hey, the hustle is real, and the hustle is rewarded. Boston has gone two of four from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Right side, Tatum. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Jaron Jackson picks one up. Okay, big boy. All right. You like to see Tatum asserting himself on the interior. Look, he's forcing the defense to foul. And so Tatum nails both of them. Memphis has got nothing to fall from outside the arc here in the fourth. 0 for 4. And it's Fox with a jam. Oh, nice one-handed jam there, B.A. Hey, little exclamation point. Walker with it. They still have time to make this a game. But they really need to focus in because they let this game get away from them a little bit. score whenever Tatum forces the issue and goes at the defense they have to compromise and he knocks down the first one so he picks up just one from the line that time and Richard with the new CBA in place the middle class is starting to strengthen in the league and I think that's a good thing you don't want minimum players and max players there is a big gap between those two styles of play there are so many players that fit in between there's stars there's young players that deserve a larger portion of the money downtown Jalen Brown love the response by Brown marching right back down and dropping in his own three Morant the pass 
to Fox. Holiday against Moran. Throws it up high. Tatum passes to Brown. Stolen by Jackson. And the Grizzlies pushing it up now. Oh, another one falls. This game has his name written all over it. He has been phenomenal. An offensive onslaught. Outside Holiday. Brown with a screen. Outside Tatum. Pass to Cornette. Just five on the clock. Three-pointer Holiday. Rebounded by Fox. Memphis leading by 11. Morant with it. Guarded now by Holiday. And Morant good for three. Morant's got 12 points in just the second half. And looking to shoot as many threes as possible. This kind of confidence, impressive to see. Outside, Brown. Back to Walker. And a jam by Walker. With a strong finish to cut into that lead a little. Man, left no doubt with that one, Grant. Morant against Holiday. Aggressive take from Morant. Jackson, the pass to Fox. Outside Morant. Launches a three. And it's Cornette with a rebound. Cornette's got his fifth rebound in this one. Pass to Tatum. Back to Brown. To the paint. Cornette with the bucket. Proving he's more than just a go-to scorer. Brown also loves swinging the ball to open teammates. Outside Bain. Jackson with a screen on Walker. From deep, Bain. Oh, the Grizzlies get it back. Here's Fox. It's deflected. Tatum with it. Fox picks him up. To the inside. Brown. And Brown with the stuff. I'm not going to lie. Jalen Brown... His hops are different. And so Moran will bring it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. They've led by as many as 14. Pass to Fox. Back to Moran. Fox with the ball. Look at our Cornette. <laughs> this guy has been wreaking havoc out there the last couple games. He's been relentless and he's been doing it in a variety of ways but right there it's all about the hustle on the offensive glass Celtics trail by 10 now here's Holiday outside Brown outside Tatum from behind the arc no luck on that one well, the Grizzlies shooting 53%. Good efficiency on offense so far. Here's Holiday. And stolen by Jackson. Fox outside. Moran, pass to Fox. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Fox has got 58. He's looked practically unstoppable this quarter. The defense, yeah, well, they haven't had many answers for him. Outside Holiday, back to Tatum. Shoot from 14. Holiday passes to Walker. Outside, Brown. Holiday with the ball. For three. Grabs the rebound again. His effort on the glass has been incredible. Now tied for the fourth most rebounds in a game. What a beast. Now here's Fox. He got it again. Sensational. A 60-piece. Oh, my goodness. And it's not his first of the year. Well, he's tied for the fourth most 60-point games during a single season. It's incredible. Celtics trail by 14. Now Tatum shoots over Jackson, and he rebounds again. 
He just puts on a clinic in how to box out and rebound tonight, and it's been utterly amazing. Hey, he continues to climb up the ladder of history, now tied for second most rebounds. Now here's Fox. Good! That's another bucket. That's 62 points. 62. Amazing. A remarkable performance from him so far. Holiday passes to Brown. A minute 50 left in the final quarter. But that's another board. His march into the record books continues with that rebound. He's grabbing everything. It's been an historic night for him as he has tied the mark for most rebounds in the game. You're equally Will Chamberlain's mark from 1960. 55 boards. You just marvel at it. Well, the Celtics shooting pretty well at 45%. And the distance between the point totals for these teams tells the whole story. Just a fantastic effort, and you have to give it up for the Grizzlies. It was stop and go for them along the way, but they finally seized full control of this game. <laughs> There's another rebound. Can you believe it? He moves into first all time for rebounds in a game. His relentless pursuit yielding a spot in the record books. He has surpassed the mark set by the late, great Wilt Chamberlain. Unbelievable. Timeout call. Memphis. There's a minute 12 left in the fourth quarter. Memphis leading by 16. 107 left to play in the fourth. And that one, good. Jackson's gotten his first basket of the night. Should just about do it. Big time shot in the final stretches here. Market time of death. Does that mean we get to officially enter garbage time? I vote hopefully yes. There's Tatum with the three. And another one. <laughs> That's 52 points for him. Making it all look too easy right now. The Grizzlies shooting just a phenomenal clip. 59% here in the fourth. Pass to Fox. Back to Morant. Now here's Bain. Now Jackson. From the arc. They grab their own miss. Morant finds Bain. Jackson the screen. Six to shoot. 4-3. Here's Fox. And good! There's another! Oh, what a performance. Arguably the best in franchise history. He's tied the franchise mark for most points in a game. The next basket breaks it. Brown passes to Walker. Going inside. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. And he drops the first. And both free throws good for Walker. 12 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Yet another bucket. Never in the history of the franchise have we seen a game like this. He's putting on a remarkable performance. It's their all-time single-game scoring record. Their fans will be reliving this game for a long time. And so Memphis takes this one by a big margin. Boy, this crowd has to be shocked by the way their team was dismantled. A record night for rebounds in a game. You were an absolute demon on the glass tonight. How did you do it? Yeah, just using whatever edge you have in different spots. Some guys you gotta out muscle, others you gotta out quick or out fox. Mostly, it's about staying on your toes. The, the second that you let up, the other guy who wants it more is beating you to the glass. That's for sure. So, when it comes to scoring and passing, we know it's important for teams to spread the wealth. But what about rebounding? Is there a potential drawback to one player getting so many of their team's rebounds? Mm. I've heard of guys wanting more shots and wanting more say over the offense, but I don't think I've ever heard of anyone complaining that they weren't getting enough rebounds. 
<laughs> All right, well, thanks a lot. Uh, thank you. All right, so I'm gonna make sure I get you that autograph for your nephew, right? Yeah, his birthday's next month, so you better. I got you. See ya. Yes.